This is Classic FM. Hello and welcome to the Classic FM rooftop. And I've uh, put some clothes on now after a photo shoot with this man, Anthony Hewitt. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. He is the Olympianist, travelled from Land's End to John O'Groats on his bike, raising money for the Classic FM Foundation with a piano. Why, why on earth did you decide to do it? Well, very good question. I mean, I just, um, I think it was just a very uh, um, uh, different way of uh, going about uh, concert tour uh, in the country. It's, uh, um, you know, presenting classical music in a, in a different uh, context, much more informal and sporty, and just hopefully bringing a few more uh, people uh, into classical music, some cyclists maybe. Um. You, you know, you, you did it in stages, so every day you would go, presumably you weren't towing the piano. Uh, um, I wasn't there. No, no. no, okay, so you, you'd go on your bike and then the piano would, would follow what? The piano was in, in a van, which we, uh, which we nicknamed the Beto van. And, uh, but it was, uh, sorry, sorry, it's full of yeah, bumps. Yeah. But, but um, it was, um, it very basically, fall, it, it just, you know, sort of shadowed me really and would meet me up for, uh, for lunch and then go ahead and then get the piano loaded off and I would turn up and I would, we'd have pop up concerts and I would play on the back of the, back of the tailor. Because I, I read the schedule and you were doing, you were cycling all morning and then you would stop and instead of like having lunch, you'd do a little concert. Well that was that was the case for the first, yeah, first few days. It was, it was rather tiring, especially at the beginning where I was getting used to the whole rhythm of, of you know, getting all your gear ready and, and, and you know, practicing as well. So, so it was, yeah, it was tough, but, um, but I got, you know, I, got, I was very lucky with the, with the weather. It was absolutely glorious, if you think in the context of this summer's weather. Yeah, yeah you, were, you, you got the bit that was I, really nice with I all got, the torrential uh, downpour for had, the, uh, the torch absolutely. and Absolutely. We had three, we had three uh, outdoor concerts at the beginning, and all those three days were lovely and surrounded by rainy days, and then Scotland was absolutely gorgeous, so I, right. but it was, uh, made, made a lot of difference. And, and the evening as well, you did, you did concerts too? I did, yeah. It was a mixture of concerts in traditional venues, and festivals, yep. music societies, but also on the, on, on the van. So, but it was, it was, it was just uh, playing on the, off the back of the van, which is people were, so you could just see, you know, circled round, they were just so enthusiastic. It was just very, very different way of playing a concert. Well, and you said taking classical music to people who might not have heard it yeah, so much absolutely. before. Now turning up in a town, putting down the van tailgate and then doing a performance, it's a bit like a flash mob or something. People must have been like, who on earth is this? <laughs> What's going on? But also, I, I mean, that probably grabs people and gets them in. It absolutely did, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I, in fact, I met some cyclists on, on, on route and uh, with this one gentleman at the Scottish border who came to my concert in the evening and, uh, and also met quite a few cyclists that they'd never been to a concert before. So I think it did... Um, draw some attention to it and you know, obviously sport is so popular particularly this year well, I was going to say you, it, you know, it really fits in with the Olympic absolutely yeah. Olympic theme this year yeah. is that why you decided to do it this year or I did well not necessarily I mean it was you know it's just um, uh, I mean also with the Jubilee as well so it's a big year for Britain isn't it and uh, I think this is before I get uh, before I get too old. Really, you, know? <laughs> you, you could carry on for years. I, doing decide, this. I, I decided about three years ago to do it, and it took it took a few years to plan it. So I thought, well, how about three years from now? So, yeah. You know, yeah. So, yeah. Well, thank, thank you for doing it first of all, well, and, and and the money. How much did you raise for the Classic Event Foundation? I think well, we raised um, over thirteen thousand pounds. Amazing. There's still more coming in. So, yeah. so um, it's very, I was very, I was, you know, very, very, um, you know. I'm proud to do that actually because it is, you know, um, obviously I've, I've raised money before in concerts, but never that amount of money, yeah, and it's yeah. a great feeling actually. Well, so, I've, I've yeah. seen some of the children having music therapy, it's where the money goes for children yeah, in music absolutely. therapy, and it's just extraordinary to see the change at the beginning of yeah. a session. Yeah. Sometimes children with the attention deficit disorder yeah. who by the end absolutely. of it are concentrating, yeah. in the, I mean, it's, it makes such a huge difference. It so. does, yeah. You see, it's pretty, I mean, one of the charities I was raising money for was autistic children. And I've just been in a, in a course in the South of France and one of the children was autistic and he came in, he was very animated and he came into the, to the lessons and he was incredibly quiet. It's amazingly powerful music, what yeah. it has. And, uh, and also music's just meant to make you feel good, so does cycling, so does sports, so that's why, that's another reason why I did them both together. Yeah. And they're both part of my life and both things that I love, so. Yeah, well, clearly, here he is, he's <laughs> you cycled here, where are you cycling to next? I'm going to cycle home, I think. Good, good. <laughs> only, only six miles, though. Only six, only six <laughs> miles. So take a round trip. Anthony, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for the money for the Classic Dome Foundation. Anthony Hewitt.